Welcome to Mediogre Gaming, and today we're playing Warframe. Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and salutations. Today we're talking about getting started with Warframe. So you decided to take the plunge and try out Warframe, but you don't know what to do. Or maybe you tried it and you were just completely lost on what you needed to do. Well, I'm here to help. So the first few missions that you do when you start playing are going to be extremely limited. In fact, there's only one to do each time and until you get to a certain point. So once you get to that point, because you start off, you have to choose your Warframe. You get to choose between Excalibur, Volt, and Mag at this point. Uh, they may change it in the future, and it was different in the past. But right now, Excalibur, Mag, and Volt are the ones that you can choose from. Now, Mag you can get from one of the earlier bosses, and Volt you can get from a clan. So that leaves Excalibur. Excalibur at this time is very difficult to gather the pieces to put together outside of choosing it at the beginning. So choose Excalibur. Even if you say, eh, I really like how Volt looks, or I really think that I would like playing Mag, don't do it. Grab Excalibur. And then the other ones you can get, and you can play with those once you put them together. So once you are able to start choosing where you want to go, there are still limitations. So if you wanted to go to Mars, you have to go to the Mars Junction. And that means you have to complete a quest, you have to do this, you have to do that. Okay. Same thing, you want to go to Venus, you have to do... You have to do this, you have to collect mods, you have to do this, 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 and then you can go to, to Venus. Now, you don't have to unlock every single one of these points in order to make it to the next planet. But if you do unlock all the points on a planet, you're able to deploy an extractor. And the extractors are going to give you a chance at one of these resources every four to eight hours. So for example, I had an extractor on Saturn and it got me plastids, which is right here. These are the more rare ones, the orican cell and detonite ampules, nanospores are more common. So I go ahead and claim it, and I say, okay, I'm going to deploy a new one, because I just claimed an extractor, and now I'm putting it down. Four hours later, I'll be able to do it again. And depending on what rank you are, will determine how many extractors you can have. So the more extractors you have, the more resources you can get. And if there are certain resources that you need, you can use the extractors to help you get those. Well, how do you get extractors? And how do I get things in the game? Well, as you go along, you start off with a Warframe, and then they give you a choice between a couple of weapons, uh, primary weapons, and then secondary weapons, and then a melee weapon. Each one for each slot. And those will, you can rank them up with each rank. You get the ability to increase the power of the Warframe or the weapon with mods. Now each mod has a number next to it that tells you how many, how much of the capacity that's going to take. So I have a capacity of 28, so I can have up to 28 mod capacity and I have 26 out of 28. Now when you start off you don't have any mods and as you go along you'll start picking up mods from enemies that you kill and then you can put them on 
to your Warframe, and you can put it on to your weapons. As you go along, you'll get new ones and different ones. And all the mods are different ranked. So you have bronze, which are common, and then silver, which are less common, and gold, which is more rare. So they all have a rarity, and they all, but that doesn't mean that they're more useful or less useful because they're more rare. It just means that they're less likely to drop. Now, each Warframe also has four unique abilities, and each one has a cost, energy cost to it, and they rank up as you rank up your Warframe, and your weapons in your Warframe can rank up from zero all the way up to 30. 30 is the maximum rank, which would mean that you would have 30 capacity on your mod slots. And you said, well, this one says 74. Well, there are some rule benders. So for Warframes and Sentinels, etc., you have Orkin Reactors. Orkin Reactors double the mod capacity for each rank. But you don't have to worry about that in the beginning. That's something to worry about down the line. Now starting off, like I said, you won't have any mods. You'll go through and you'll get mods. And then as you go along, you can increase the mod rank and also the capacity drain by increasing, by upgrading it. And you can upgrade it with credits and endo. All right, so that's enough about mods. What about Warframes and weapons? I start off with one of each type, but I want more. I want something different. I want to try something different. Well, most of the things that you're going to get are going to be in terms of blueprints. So the blueprints that you get require certain things to make. So it requires credits. Everything requires credits to make, and then beyond that, it'll depend on what you're trying to make. Your primary weapons is the same thing. You need certain resources to get. So if you're not sure where to get those resources, you just go over to your map, and you look on your map, and you say, all right, Pluto, what resources are possible to get out of Pluto. And you pull up that extractor thing and it says Rubido, Morphix, Plastids, Alloy Plate. So if you need something in particular, you can go to the different planets and look to see where those drop. Warframes, if you're looking for a different Warframe because you've already maxed out your Warframe and you're getting a little bit bored with it and you haven't gotten any other Warframes, You've gotten a couple pieces maybe, but you don't really know how to get them. Well, on most planets, there is a boss. It's an assassina assassination mission, and they will, when you complete it, you have a guaranteed drop of getting one piece of a particular Warframe. Now, not all Warframes drop from bosses. There are some that drop from different areas and different things that you need to do in order to get them. But as you're going along, if you're wanting to get just a different Warframe, you can kill the boss of a planet and he will drop one piece of it. So once you get all the pieces, you can make them at your foundry, and then you'll have a new Warframe that you can make. Now, the game will start you off with some premium currency, Platinum. 
and you look and you say, there's a whole bunch of stuff I can spend platinum on. What should I spend my platinum on? Well, I would strongly recommend that you take your platinum and you use it when needed to increase your capacity for weapons and warframes. So when you look at your inventory, you have a certain number of slots. And when you run out of slots, then you have to buy new ones with the platinum. So each Warframe slot will cost you 20. Weapon slots will cost you 12, but that'll give you two. Sentinel slots cost 12. And same thing with the Arcwing. Arcwing slots cost 12. So every time you get a new one, they give you a couple of slots to start with, and then beyond that, you have to buy them, and you have to buy them with platinum. And you say, well, how can I get more platinum? Well, you can get some from the market, either by buying it with real money, or you can trade with other players for Platinum. On Mars, there is Morrow's Bazaar. You can buy and sell items there for Platinum or for a trade, one item for another item. So you can get Platinum two different ways, trading other players for platinum, items for platinum, and buying platinum for money. If you don't want to buy platinum, you don't have to. You can trade other players for platinum, and that can be your source of platinum. Alright, so what about weapons? There are some weapons that drop from bosses. Uh, a lot of weapons you can get from the market. You just come over here to the weapons, primary, secondary, melee weapons, and just look at what you want. They have all of them here. Uh, not all of them can be purchased without platinum. Now they can all be purchased with platinum. Like this one here is 225 platinum. But if you already knew, you could get this one from a clan. You say, well, how do I get just a regular gun? Okay, well, you can, when you look at it, you can buy it with platinum or you swap over to the blueprint and you can buy the blueprint for credits. Well, once you get the blueprint, then you have to go take it over to the foundry and you have to make sure that you have all the resources necessary. And there are weapons that require other weapons to make. And then you have to decide if you're going to take your weapon that you've ranked up to the maximum level or you ranked up to whatever level. Are you going to sacrifice that weapon to make another weapon? Because if you want, decide that you want to go back to that other weapon, you're going to have to make it again, and it's going to start at zero. Alright, so new weapons you can get from the market. You can also get them as drops. Join a clan. There are lots of clans that are looking. Once you get into a clan, go ahead and make a key that'll let you get into the dojo. And they have blueprints there that you can buy and then you can make them at your foundry. Warframes drop from bosses, but there are other ways as well. Now, if you're wondering you can send a message to the region 
and there's actually a bot that will tell you how to get them. Just ask a question and then all of a sudden you'll get a bot message back that says this is how you get it. So easy peasy. If you have a question you can send a message to the region. The bot will answer it. If it doesn't there might be someone that is able to help you there. If you're in a clan you can ask one of your clan mates and they most certainly will help you. Now when you're starting off, just play to open up a new planet. And once you get to a new planet, then you can go and try to open up the next planet. And you just keep going along that route until you can get all the planets open. Now if you want to extract certain items if there are certain items that you need so certain items that you want and you want to put an extractor down on a certain planet then you will have to unlock every node of the planet does that mean you have to play every node on the planet no you just have to unlock every node now there are certain areas like the void where you can't put down an extractor so that's not going to help you even though you say, oh, I really need some argon crystals. Which brings up another point. Argon crystals, unlike other resources, will disappear over time. So once you get an argon crystal, you should have some way of using it in the foundry. If you don't, after, I believe it's three days, it'll disappear from your inventory. And that's, you know, they, they basically say it decays. So it's kind of this radioactive substance and after, over time it just is no longer usable. But that's it. That's all you need to get started. Obviously you can move yourself along a little bit faster with extra platinum because platinum will get you extra weapons. It'll get you items, resources, It'll get you things easier, but it is by no means necessary. It is a free-to-play game, and it really is free-to-play. The, the hardest thing is getting Platinum to unlock new slots. But like I said, you can do that at, at the Bazaar. You can also sign up for and link your account, your Warframe account, with warframe.market on the internet and list your items there someone will contact you if they're interested if you're interested in an item you can look it up on there to see who's selling what and it will also give you the price range for the items and what they're being sold for in terms of platinum so if you're wondering how much an item might sell for, you say, oh, I've got a couple of such and such. What is it worth? You can go on and look to see how much it's worth and how much it's selling for on your platform, whether you're playing on PlayStation, Xbox, or PC. Anyway, I hope this video was informative and helpful to you. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And we'll see you next time.